Welcome back to the last break in Art of ASEAN. And we are following YES Academy Kids Under String Orchestra class. After it has been studying for a while, now it's their show time. All I can say is they are really excited about this. There comes the show time for String Orchestra students. They show audiences what they have learned during the class. And in this important event, they are honored when the ambassador of the United States that also attend the show. For us, we feel like music is a language everyone speaks. Dance is a language everyone speaks. And so this program is a great opportunity to bring people together across borders, to help build friendships. And it's a real example, I think, of the Thai American creative spirit. You know, I think for all of us, the young performers we see today represent the future cultural leaders, Thailand and of ASEAN. So it's exciting for us as Americans to get to work with the cultural talents and to build those kind of friendships. And we hope they'll have the opportunity to see and hear music in the United States someday. And we hope more Americans will get the opportunity to come here and see the beautiful music, watch them dance. So it's very exciting for us to be a part of the future cultural leaders. Apart from cultures and tradition, Christy Kenny also state that another important thing to improve in Thailand and Southeast Asia is education. That's the only way we could enter the Western standard. Well, you know, we're very engaged with education here. We work a lot with universities, with schools. We have Peace Corps volunteers who work in schools teaching English. We also do a lot of exchange programs. A lot of Thai students go to the United States to study. We're always excited to have that happen too. So I think between us, we really do a great deal to build strong education. But you know, I think all of the countries across Southeast Asia are increasingly linked. Strong friendship, we're seeing ASEAN nations working together. And so when you see the opportunity like this for the young people to come together show their creative talents across borders, you know, that builds strong friendships, strong cultural ties. You know, they literally make beautiful music together. So I think it really builds a great friendship across nations, and that's great for ASEAN. With limited curriculums, the class is intensive, and it is full of intention to make the best day. And as we know, string orchestra need a lot of concentration, and above all, it is about how to play as a team. We enjoy working here and the embassy has helped us to develop this program. We couldn't do this much without the embassy's help because they provide a lot of funding for us. But it's also a, a central location and we can bring people from a lot of other countries. And they have great facilities here at the university and you know, it's easy for people to come here and to stay here. and and it's more difficult to invite people to come to other countries. This is a nice central location and it's easy for people to come here. So it's easy for us to, to have this program here and everybody enjoys it. We had the biggest group of students this year and definitely the highest level of players and we did much harder music than we thought we could do this year. It was very fun. They learned very fast and are very, very talented. The concert today was great. The students worked very hard and they played really well. They always play their best in the concert, and we were very happy with them. Fully delighted in what they've been able to do here within the past oh, uh, nine days, I think is what we've had. They've done a terrific job. They've been really responsive to what we've asked them to do, and their concert tonight really showed the hard work that they've done. New students together who may have never played together before, that's always a little challenge, but it's also their great joy in that they get to meet people from all over the country who have the same interests that they do. And it's a pure joy for us to come and do this because we get to share cultural exchange with something that we love in common with each other. So it's been a wonderful experience in Thailand. Class tutors expect their students to gain as much experiences as possible in string orchestra. Because the origin of it was fully came from the Westerners. Anyway, musical language connect to them together. So language weren't a barrier of learning 
at all. I think the students have understood a particular style of music and in many cases for us we can demonstrate to get them to do what we want them to do but we've also been very lucky to have a whole team of translators that volunteered their time to be here and give to the academy to help with any language difficulties. Uh, I think sometimes my understanding is that sometimes their understanding of English is better than their speaking of English. So um, sometimes they don't know how to ask a question, but I understand that many of them are understanding what I'm saying. Well, what we've noticed is that the students are very patient with us. They have a discipline that sometimes ours may get more antsy and vocal about it, but these students that we've worked with have really been very patient. It, if we've had to take time with one small group, the others have sat very quietly and not interrupted. It's been very pleasant to work with them. I think in some ways, though, the technical aspects of playing are the same about anywhere that we are. And uh, in many ways, kids are kids. They enjoy each other, they enjoy their breaks, they enjoy making the music, and it's been a uh, fun time for them, I think. I don't know that there's a big difference. There are good schools with good teachers here, and whenever you have good teachers, then you have a lot of good players. And the students are eager to learn and are very excited about learning different kinds of music. We try to teach them some different styles of playing and some music from America and music from other countries. And, and I, I really think they're a wonderful group of students, and we hope we can come back next year. Intention for the student who attends string orchestra class as yes, academy is really dignified, as well as the ability and concentration, which are the tool for them to climb another step of this stair to the road of being an artist. Well, I just say to them, keep playing. Uh, you're doing a great job, and there's lots of talent. Uh, keep playing and keep doing. You never know where your music will take you. I never dreamed growing up that I would be doing this in Southeast Asia, and what a thrill it's been. So I hope they'll keep playing. It will bring a lifetime of enjoyment for them, and uh, regardless if they continue to play or not, they will always have a love of doing music from having done this. People always say the young generation isn't serious and they're not working hard and and when you hear a concert like tonight with people, we had people that are 12 years old, we had 24 year old people that were very focused, very hard working, very serious people who are very smart, very talented, uh, they're looking towards their future and they're working very hard and they're also fun people that are very interesting and have a lot of different abilities. And when I see this happening here and in so many other countries, I, I feel we're very lucky. I'm not worried about our future at all. We have a lot of wonderful young people growing up right now. Follow the leftover classes, hip hop dance, and Broadway class from Yes Academy Project. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be joyful, so don't forget it. That is all for today in Art of ASEAN. Thanks for following us, and don't miss us every Friday, 7 p.m. It's time to say goodbye. See you next week.